about the funding application for Rob. Question. Yeah. Um, to the world. Yeah. Yeah. So we we um we thought we might have got a whole lot from charity, but honestly we didn't quite know it. There's too many applications, I suppose. So yeah, we come to the, the next best uh, choice. <laughs> And, and and it is it's it's like it's a great asset for the town. Any any small towns today that you've got a bowling club like Crown, a bowling club and a golf club, you know, pretty lucky, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You want to ask another question? Yeah. Where where are you going to put this extra building? It's on it's it's on the yeah. other end of the bowling club. It's on the far, far end. end. Far end of the bowling club. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Just in terms of the water supply, because uh, I am, am aware that Rami supply during the Titan crowd and having it and then having tanks on every project, uh, but actually you need water the most. I was just wondering, given that, would you be open to, given that you're quite close to the um, campus, uh, and that's, they've got a lot of rich plate, I don't know what they got for those tanks, but then I know them there is. If you were in tanks, the storm would have been breaking. You'd be doing something like that, a bit of a measurement. We're, we're, yeah, we'd be, we'd be down that track okay. to uh, take the water off there. And that's still an option, like what you're saying. Is, um, it is still an option because there's a lot of sheds on there, a lot of big buildings on there. Mm. And it is an option if uh, we got to the stage where we needed to, and it wouldn't be a huge job. Yes. But at this stage, yeah, because we did go down that track when when Polytech was there, right? Yeah, then we talked to them. Um, but we didn't need to so kind of see yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking about but that. They, they have got an extra tank there now. Yeah. My well, opinion is those, those water tanks were put downtown. Yeah. Because so I'm I'm a first responder for civil defence. You got one of them. And um, those tanks were put downtown, so. Now one of them's at the polytech. Yeah, that, no, that's great. It'll be an overflow. Yeah, you certainly do it by pulling your tank first. That's right. And then the overflow would that go down the drain. Well, that that tank that came from downtown is sitting right beside the bowling club in the in the polytech there. So, so we could have <laughs> we, we will claim it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, any further questions for Rob or please? No, thank you, Rob. That's good. Any, anything else you want to tell us about railway at the moment? Um just mention the sand. You for our Rowley Beach. I think that's set for this year, isn't it? Yes, it sounds like that. That's yeah, good. I just thought, well, that's not going to be a ball there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good because, as I was just saying to Tim before, that by regularly putting that sand that we've been putting every year for the last three, four years, it's really formed a nice beach there now. Yeah. And uh, we can right. keep that going every year. That's really good. So, do we. Now that's in the system. We don't have to. No, no. It was it was only the years that we were in. We were here. Yeah. So, um, what you should do is next year come to the next community board and ask for three years funding. Three years. Yeah. So just just say we want this. Well, we want this funding for this year. But can can you please um, do you know make, make a, a standing order for the next for the next, two, next two years after that? I mean, they, they won't necessarily do it because none of us will be here. Yeah. Um, but they might, in which case, which saves you a whole lot of money. Yes, no, that's good. Because we got a, we got a um, I run a water ski club over here as well, and uh, that beach is really good for that. Yeah, yeah. Nice down there. And the riding club. Really riders have you got down? Yeah, that's too many, mate. Got 22 horses and about 40 kids running around. I thought it's all the club though. Yeah, it's good. And they stay. The kids are staying in line. Yes. Yes. Oh, Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Okay, great stuff. Awesome. Thank you very much. Well, well, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rob. Awesome. Good morning, Sean.
Good morning, Sean. Are you here to do your election speech? Basically, I'm here for the highway community. Yeah. They have some issues with speed. They want to do a speed restriction down to the town. What part? And then pedestrian crossings. Okay, so the pedestrian crossings and speed are us, but what parts do they want? Somewhere where the kids can cross the road safely, walk between different uh, venues safely. Okay, so, so do they do they because we discussed this at our last workshop, and the only the only uh, footpath that we came up with was the one from the butcher shop through to the the uh, the old Mason's building. So is there, is there somewhere else that the that the requires footpaths in Ohio? Oh, sorry, Ohio Highway. Ohio or Ohio? Ohio, sorry, yeah. Maybe I'll take that back and check on that exactly where they want it. Okay, are you here? Yeah. yeah. Um, and speed, general. Yeah, yeah that's, all, that's all NZTA. Oh, security cameras. Uh, and there's some other things that are starting to get a little bit on top of it. Okay, so where in particular? Does anybody have a plan for that, Sean? No, I'm going to go back and say this is what is needed. Well, and, and if you could, there's a, there's a lot in the news the, these days about privacy and CCTV. Um, so can you make sure that they've done their work on on privacy impact assessments before they come to us and we'll go from there? Cool. OK. Thank you. And, and, and are we going to see you here next year? Yeah, I'm going to stand for the community board here. Good work. Right. Good work. Right. OK. Um, it's nice. It's nice to see you guys. We'll see candidates turn up. Sorry. One last thing, if I could. I have mentioned before that Dormit Road, Green Hill Road, being used as rubbish trucks. There's rubbish line there that's been there for two months. Our street maintenance in this town, literally beyond a joke. It doesn't happen in this town. Why okay, have you reported? I mean, I know, I, I know this sounds like a broken record, Sean. Okay, but have you reported to the council? Just... Oh. Okay. okay, did you put another one? Okay, cool. cool. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Do we did we get a um um a time bank people come in and talk to us or not? Yeah. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. So let's start with the meeting. Um, oh, we still got a quorum. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. Are there any corrections for the minutes? No. All those in favour of the minutes are up to a correct record. Anyone right. against? Carry. Make one point. I was at the meeting, but I was meeting uh, by yeah. the line. By the line. Yeah. No mention of that. No, you gave, the you, gave, yeah. you, you gave your apologies for that meeting, Louis. So I included your apologies in that in email. You gave your apologies that you yeah. won't be there. Yeah, but I wasn't at the meeting. So you want to be recorded as being there? Well, yeah. I, I, I recorded as being. There. So, okay, remove your. I don't I just want to remove. You are recording. I, I, yeah. I don't record that to Peter. Sorry. And you're not recording this. There's no apologies. Yeah. And then go to Yeah, I think. So I think happy with the current code rules say that if you're on, if you're online and allowed to be online, then, sorry, if you're online, then you're present. I think that's the way it works, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, that was just a good camera. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, right. How many applications? Let's do this one, one at a time, eh? <coughs> Um, so, do I have a motion for A? Um, and when you make a motion, please let me know whether or not it's with or without the number. Oh, with or without the number? With the number. With the number, okay. I'll take uh, it. Okay, so I've got a mover and a seconder, um, Turnberg and Davis, um, to approve the sum of 5580 to be paid for the board's community fund account at the Hockey and the Bottom Club Incorporated for the purchase and installation of storage shed. At 61 Clendon Road, S so Clendon Espinar Railway to support the following community outcomes, um, those two, and with the rider, that payment is only to be made 
once the bowling club has been granted permission. What kind of permission? Yes, I think we'll say at a that reserve before they can, even though it's going to be a rental, I would just like them to run a past lease and then get permission for that rental. Okay, so landlord permission. Okay, so granted landlord permission for the storage shed you build on 61 X Road. Right. right, do I do you do you wish to talk about this? I'll start with you, Louis. Yeah, no, I think Rob does a very good job. Yeah. Finger, 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 finger. He doesn't always They pulled it out up from nothing, eh? And that was a we got them a twenty thousand dollar rates rebate, and that was the start of everything. They 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 basically leveraged up all their funding applications from there and where they went. Yeah. It's great. Okay, any further questions? Oh, sorry, further, further discussion? No. Okay, all those in favour? Aye. Right. Anybody against? Gary. Uh, he's in Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, I think. Uh, I say, so technically speaking, it is possible for someone in Australia to zoom into this meeting. But your, but your statement was Laurie could. Okay. Sorry, Laurie. Okay, um, so the, ne the next item, um, I'll move that the Koke Hoki Owned Community Board approves the sum of blank to be paid from the board's community fund account to Te Pōkapu Tiaki Tiaho or Daiaho or Te Tai To Tokoro Trust, uh, Eco Centre Kataia for the purchase of a mobile, for a mobile plan and workshop facilitator fee to support the bottom community outcomes, those two. Do I have a seconder? Second. Okay. Um, I'm not going to talk to this. I, I just got wanted to put it on there for a, um, a discussion. We haven't had anybody here this morning to talk to it or to answer any questions. And in the past, we've we've we have actually declined to um, to support these people because it didn't seem to make financial sense. So um, I'm quite happy for this discussion to to carry on and then for us to um, to put a number at the end. So Louis, you got anything to say? Oh, I just don't need to kill you in the business and give you the numbers of cell phones. Okay. Things like that. Uh, I think that what they're trying to do is great, but you know, they should be cleaning cell phones around. Okay. They can utilize to sort of do the workshops on. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Mogul, any comments? Uh, I would have liked to move over here. So we could ask them. I know that we've got 550 members, but how many members of Adam Park we have counted? And yeah, that's good. Yeah, Alan. Um, yeah, I had the same thing. I, it would have been great if they'd come here to speak on the um, about what they wanted these phones for. Yeah, my thoughts are. I mean, it's a, it's. I'd love to know how much. How many? How many? And how much transactions are done through this through the, through the time bank? I just wonder where I mean they've got a twelve thousand dollar budget here for this year for this area alone, I think. Uh, and and is there even twelve thousand dollars worth of work going through and we don't know. Yeah. And can we maybe leave it on the table and ask them to come to the next meeting? Can, we can do. Do you want to do you want to make that motion? Yeah, I know that they leave it on the table until the next meeting so we can speak to them. Okay. There, there is a branch in code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you've got to do is you're just gonna say I want to leave it on the table. Um, do you leave it? Oh, look, look, I will just take it, put this straight to the vote. Um, all those that wish to leave it on the table? Aye. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Anybody against? Carried. So, um, Kevin, can you just let them know that we've done it? Cool, thank you. Yeah. 
want to get out of your question. That's cool. Um, action sheet update. Um, do we have a move on this? I'll move. Okay, the Pākehā Hokianga Community Board receives the Pākehā Hokianga Community Board action sheet. So um, that's just a receipt, but we may as well take the opportunity to talk about it. Um, does anybody wish to ask any questions or discuss any items that are here um, that we can perhaps either clear up with, um, with our support or make a further motion to ask for further information? So all the other items that were on the, the last meeting of the meeting before have all been cleared up. Is that one of the You got input? Have you got something in particular? Uh, no, I haven't done anything particular. I can see that you know, some of the things still work. Uh, but yeah, no, I just want to know everything else that's beyond the action sheet is going to be done. Why is our amenity lights for town beautification budget not going to be presented back until November? That is a good question. I cannot answer you. I know that the um, report writers are compiling reports for um, Te Hiku amenity lighting, so I can ask them to aim for September instead of November. Well, I mean, it's the last one. I know. I didn't. I didn't update that. It's the report writer who updated that. So I'll ask them to provide it for September. What about Epic Nikki? Does anyone know? Yeah, there's a there's a bit of a problem on that particular one because there's a, a white honey claim on as well. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um Sheena Ross, the Nati Kunapur on trust. I had somebody come to the shop wanting some action on that and stopping people from using it as an illegal anchor. One of the locals, which okay. he always complains about that. Okay, so the people who the people who they're complaining about are the people that the council is seeking to reach agreement with. Okay, so the question here would be what is there something that should have been done or could have been done to bring these people out earlier while this was an active discussion? Or even if it was, would these people have come and talked to us? The people who are complaining now. But they haven't done that yet. Okay, so they haven't they haven't they haven't actually complained. They've just gone and seen Louis, is that right? No, they've gone to see Louis. I don't know what to do about it. I suggested to her that there was a suggestion that uh, we do the whole area up and put a boat back in there and have part of the parking. But, but she seemed to be happy with that. But it hasn't that ship sailed? Uh, well, well, okay. well, no, the whole what's going to happen to that area. I don't know. You know, I mean, she wants to go on basically because. Uh, I don't know if I should say something that she said, but uh, they were able to uh, show of the people that are running it, and also the uh, mess that you be behind it. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, that piece of ground is well maintained by the people that are using it. Uh, you know, council will keep that nice piece of ground down there. I think part of the issue is access to the community. We should project something. Yeah. And is that is that not part of the agreement? I got no idea. No. Okay. Has Sheena Ross actually come over to talk to you lately? She's been talked to this group. Yeah, about um, that they have a claim on there and before they go doing anything or council go and do anything they should. Look into the um, claim. And so the claim's been lodged? Yeah. Is that under the NAPU claim still what? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, everybody can say things like that. Look at the day out with the yeah. story, isn't it? 
this is just our board's version of the Hertz current tree in the Hipara. Yeah. The point in Taipa, um, the hill in Opua, they're all under treaty plane and technically, like, you know what you do. We get BAU until it's yeah. until it's settled, right? How long do claims take to settle? <laughs> well, it's been 182 years so far. <laughs> so, okay, so I want to hold my breath. Okay, so as as custodian of the area, the council needs to maintain it until settled, which uh, to the best of their ability. No, no, but I mean. I use maintain in a very loose sense, yeah. uh, and, and in this case, the best maintenance is maybe what we're doing. Okay. We won't be active crime captain anyway. Um, it's a guy called Sadeen Matthews, and he's Sadeen Matthews' grandson, and they mow that area, and he used the concept of the, having the camping ground there, and he put the actual shells up, the buildings that are there, that the council were happy with and wanted pulled down and then um, backed out of that procedure and um, didn't want to take the hard line with it. So it's just sitting there. And then meantime, the uh, Ngāti Kurukuru Trust came in and said that um, it's subject to a claim there for the Moitra family and that uh, the land was never sold, it was gifted to a member of the family who doesn't live there any longer and they've got a claim on the Koti area. So maybe someone should speak to the chairperson of the Ngāti Kurukuru Trust at that point. Who is the chairperson? Oh, let that just roll. Oh, let, yeah. let that, let that. Yeah, yeah. It's, not a it's better to stick out of it, really, yeah. because we could go and make a decision on it. It can be overturned by a court action. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, any further questions? On I would share that for you to community members to bring that up, that this is under uh, white and white and white and white and white and white and white that we are going to and what we can do. Send it to the non 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 yeah. Okay, any further comments? Okay. Right, all those in favour? All right. Cool. Right, I have a motion here that's not on the agenda. Um, what I'll do is I'll read it out and then we'll just we'll, we'll take a motion. It's all under section number 26 and 27 of Lavoima. We'll, um, we will decide whether or not we want to hear it. Okay, so the motion reads that Kaikai Hokkaido and Community Board allocate $3,000 towards visual communication and, pu and public PR to advise our local community and visitors of the planned works at Memorial Park and the sports can be encouraged to do the same. So that's what that's what the motion reads. Um, the reason it's not on the agenda is. And the reason it can't wait till next time. Okay, that was cool. Okay, so um, I move yeah. that I move that we um, that we deal with this item or deal with the item regarding visual communication on Royal Park. Second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all those in favour? Uh, okay. Carried. Okay. So uh, Kelly moves then that the Kaiko Hokkien Community Board. One moment, please. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll carry on. Got over this name. Yeah. Okay. The Kaiko Hokkien Community Board allocates three thousand dollars towards visual communication and public PR or public 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 relations to advise our local community and visitors with plans for work at Memorial Park and be that if sports will be encouraged to do the same. Do I have a seconder? Yeah. Cool, that's um, Van Gaal and Busich. And Kelly, would you like to talk about it? Okay, which, which, which fund would you like to take it out of? Placemaking? Okay. <laughs> can we, do we need to, we can just agree for Ruben to put a pass through first, Kelly? We'll give 
Well, actually, yeah, how do you want how do you want how do you want to execute this? We'll give Kelly the power to sign off what we're paying for for the papers. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, I guess we need we need to we need to ask the CEO to do this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, through Ruben and to delegate the um, sign off to Kelly. Okay. You got that you got that extra up there. You got this ask the CEO um, to get comms and then then we delegate the community board sign off to Kelly. Okay. Okay. You got, you got all that wording? I do not because you move so fast, but I'll okay. catch up. Okay. So that well, yeah, what? Nine point one. Okay. So the second was a happy with that amendment. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just put it down as the as that full motion. Yeah. Okay, sorry, Kelly. Your conversation? Can you you caught it at all about that? About your motion. You don't need to. Okay. Anybody else wish to talk about it? Yeah. I, I think it's pretty crucial in the model fact that the model is perfectly planned there. Yeah. So you don't get the information out. Well, oh, okay. In that case, all those in favour? All right. Yeah. All right. Anybody again? Carries. Um, and there was another. Is it the outlook decision? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Could we not have wrapped those both up under major items not on the agenda? We could have, but we didn't. Sorry. Um, do you wish to bring anything up about that, that litter in, in terms of a communication with NZTA? And yeah, it was or, do you, or do you just want to do it informally? I just want to do it informally. Okay, that's good. Okay, right. What about the roads in North Hook Yang and then I'll hold up to you now? We're going to do it. That's, a, that's, that's an informal request okay. of the CEO to. Yes. You know the link to Okay, so um, we will now go into public exclusion for that one item, which is only the exclusion in a minute. So. Yeah. Okay, um, Thank you. John moves that the public be excluded for the following part, the following part of the meeting uh, and for the following reasons. Or a seconder? Yep. Thank you. All those in favour? Uh, before you carry on, yep. my, um, finally, yes. that I heard that um, a set up over there, is that live streaming? It is not live streaming, it's just recording. It's just recording. So it's fine for this public exclusion. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to probably exclude you. Thank you. So, yeah, Sean, sure, make it. Okay. Well, Holly, is there a way that I can share your screen to someone? Um, yes, but we need the HDMI cord. And I think it's on that wall over there.